Shalom Aleichem everyone, hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week this week. We are learning Parshas Pinchas in Chutzlar, it's Parshas Matos in Eretz Yisrael. A quick idea in Parshas Matos, but it's relevant all over the world. So we uh, learn after the Melchama that the Jewish people have in Midian, they collect the Kalim. And this is where we learn the Halachos of how you deal with the Kalim that you acquire from a non-Jew. Take a look at Rashi, take a look at Ramban. We learn the sources of Kasher and Kalim from these Psukim. And we also learn the source of Tefillah's Kalim. And when indeed you acquire Kalim from a Gentile, we usually buy new Kalim and we just have to deal with Tefillah. But if you were to buy non-kosher Kalim, you have to Kasher them. The process of Kashering, Kebolo Kakpolto, the way the Tarfus came in is how it exits. And then you have to be Tevil in the Mikvah. When you have something that is Shreif, there's a dual process. You have to kasher it, and then you have to do something affirmative, toivel in the mikvah. And it's sort of perhaps the same thing could be said for a person, is that we are all, sometimes in our lives, we're exposed to things that are not so kosher, that are that are metame, that are metamtem es halev, that are metamtem, our minds, that have an impact upon us. They come from gaya sources, gaya shakalim, that penetrate us, that mess us up. And there's a two-step process. Step number one, sur me ra. You have to go ahead and work on oneself to, in a certain sense, take away the tarfus, to cleanse oneself of the tarfus, kabolo kakpolto, if it happened through perhaps inappropriate thoughts, then we put our mind to divrei chachma, to divrei Torah. If it happened through other inappropriate activities of our different uh, body parts, then we have to go ahead and and do things in the other direction. The kabolo kakpolto, there is a sur meira, eliminate the bad component. And then, of course, it's not enough. Then we have to immerse ourselves in tahara, into mikvah. And it's not just a partial immersion. It's not just our feet, our arms, a little, you can have separations, chatzit, so no one has to be a full immersion. And that in order to kasha the clean, in order to make the clean outfit for our use, to become a kli, that's a kli kibble that can continue to accept, to continue to, to take on, to be a vessel of, of cooking, of, uh, of development, of transforming food from raw to, to prepare. And that's also when it comes to human being is that then there's a Asay Tov, is to immerse ourselves in the mikvah, in the base medrash, and limit Torah, in those positive types of activities. So really, of course, this is a halachic issue in terms of, in terms of the kalim. It's a halachic issue, but on a hashkafic level, as a model for Avodos Hashem, when of course, by dint of the human condition, we will of course always be exposed to things that might have a deleterious effect on our neshamas, on our spirituality, but to go ahead and go through that kashring process. Number one, the sumera, and then the immersion in the tahara, in the kadusha, in order to hit higher and higher levels. Have a wonderful Shabbos Kodesh.